All right, so I decided I'm not covering LGBT plus content enough on this channel. So I have four articles and I'm probably going to do one per video because I have no idea how long any of the videos are going to last and I don't want to go so long with one article just for you to want to come, you know, that you're interested in, say, how karma is a bitch. Because that, that does happen in these articles. So, let us start with, all of the others are horrible, but at least there's one kind of funny, well, I wouldn't say it's funny, but like I said, karma is a bitch. So, let us start with Trump advisor asks God to break the spirit of homosexuals. Because imprecatory prayer is just a great, great thing for a group of people who claim to be loving, right? Yeah. Anyway. Plus, he, this guy is a evangelical mega pastor who's multi million who owns a multi million dollar house and jet, because he's part of the prosperity gospel. Even though Jesus literally said to give up everything you own and follow him, so totally not Christian, but hey. One would have to actually read the Bible to know that, so. And the fact that I'm an atheist and I seem to know the Bible better than a lot of these dickwads, not, not a good sign. Definitely not a good sign. Anyway. So Kenneth Copeland, oh, this idiot, I thought he was dead. An 87-year-old Christian nationalist televangelist who was a member of former President Donald Trump's Faith Advisory Council recently led a prayer asking God to break the power of homosexual lesbian spirits that are trying to ruin our children and ruin this nation. Okay, first off, that sentence is absolutely hilarious, not because I'm an atheist so I don't think prayer works, nor because um because he thinks that homosexuals are trying to prey on children and ruin the nation. No, what's funny is he said homosexual lesbian spirits. I didn't realize there was a heterosexual lesbian spirit. Seriously, words have meanings and lesbians are homosexual. That's just how it works. So, yeah, that's what I found hilarious. Homosexual lesbian. Like I said, I didn't realize there was a heterosexual lesbian. So, moving on. Copeland's prayer made during a broadcast of the Rescue America tour hosted by Flashpoint Live, a Christian evangelical political program, began by asking the Christian God to over to oversee in school board elections, judges, sheriffs, mayors, city managers, and college presidents. Right, because we need prayer to otherwise God it will just completely ignore these people. I'm sorry, is is that that your reasoning for why God allows um pediatric cancer? Because he's just chooses not to pay any attention to these people? Ew. I thought he was omniscient, omnipresent. Um, I wouldn't think that he would need to say, need you to say, hey, over here. That doesn't sound like an all-powerful God to me, but okay. Those that refuse to hold to your will and do it 
remove them and put someone in there that will. Copeland said before continuing, we pray that your will be that your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. We know it is not your will that little babies be killed in the womb. Really? Where does it say that in the Bible? It is not your will to major to major on perversion instead of the peace of God. What? And we pray for the people that devils are fighting in and trying to ruin their lives with perverted ideas and perverted ways. Okay, first off, either someone, you know, missed a couple of words in translation or Kenneth Copeland's a bigger idiot than I realized. Okay, so first off, I'm pretty sure it says in the Bible that nobody can know the will of God. So why is he ascribing that he knows God's will and that God's will just happens to agree with his views of the world? Um, okay, that little babies be killed in the womb. Um, miscarriages are a thing. And you know what those are called? Spontaneous abortions. They're also called miscarriages. That is a natural abortion. So, are you sure that isn't his will? Now, it is not your will to major on perversion instead of the peace of God. What the hell does that even mean? Like I said, maybe whoever transcribed this did this horribly. Or maybe this man is um, not, not familiar with the English language. One of the two. And we pray for the people that devils are fighting in and trying to ruin their lives with perverted ideas and perverted ways. Okay, what perverted ideas? What perverted ways? I mean, again, what perverted ideas that you claim that is happening goes against the Bible? Because so far, the one example you gave, not in the Bible. So, Copeland, who has been twice divorced, which is in the Bible, by the way, you shouldn't divorce. Despite the Bible's prohibition on divorce, continued, these people that are addicted to pornography, uh, me thinketh you protesteth too much, and addicted to the things of the flesh in this world, and we break the power, we break the power of the homosexual lesbian spirits that are trying to ruin our children and ruin this nation. Get down from there. We sit by the throne. You are under our feet. So he has a lesbian sex fetish, is what I'm getting from that. Seriously, that homosexual lesbian thing, I can't concentrate on anything else. That is too funny. Um, people who are addicted to porn. You mean like our current house speaker, the one who has to have a buddy, which happens to be a son, to ensure that they don't look at porn? You know, the the guy who you probably are um, all that, think that's all that great because he's so religious. Um, addicted to things of the flesh in this world. Okay. That's not very um, specific. Because what does that mean? By that logic, you know, people who eat, not overeat, I might add, but just eat. Because, you know, you have to eat every day. You have to drink every day. Well, if you want to survive anyway. That could be seen as an, as being addicted to the flesh because, well, you kind of need to live. So, is he advocating to stop eating and drinking? Seriously, what is he talking about? All right, so let me look at Right Wing Watch. Let me 
bring this up because I actually have a video of it. So let me show you the video of Kenneth Copeland. I know it's disgusting, but... presidents, those that refuse to hold to your will and do it, remove them and put someone in there that will. We pray that your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. And we know it is not your will that little babies be killed in the womb. It is not your will to make your own perversion instead of the peace of God. And we pray for the people. The devils are fighting and trying to ruin their lives with perverted ideas and perverted ways. The people that are that are addicted to pornography and addicted to the things of this of the flesh in this world. And we break the power. We break the power of the homosexual lesbian spirits that are trying to ruin our children and ruin this nation. Get out from there. We sit by the throne. You are under our feet. Okay, somehow he made that sound even funnier than what I was reading. So, let's continue. Copeland had previously made headlines for advocating for in-person worship services during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic shutdowns. He claimed that Jesus made Trump immune from COVID-19, even though Trump conduct conducted the deadly bleh, let's try that again. Even though Trump conducted the deadly virus during his presidency, um, I think that's supposed to be contracted because he did actually. Um, he had the he had COVID when he debated Biden. So yeah. He also told his followers that he could cure them of COVID nineteen through the TV. Yep, that sounds like your typical um pas TV pastor. Copeland and his wife have earned millions through their careers and a living of in a and God, who the hell wrote this? And living in a $6.3 million mansion paid for by the church and using its $20 million private jet for vacations. In 2015, they were criticized by comedian John Oliver on Last Week Tonight for their luxurious tax-exempt lifestyle. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that sounds like something he would do because, again... You're supposed to be shepherding the flock. Shepherds do not live in mansions. The hell. In 2021, Copeland was also one of several mega pastors accused of sexual abuse by former adult film actor Madison Marquette. <sighs> like I said, he doth protesteth too much. All right. Actually, it turns out, let me see. Oh, no, this is probably the whole thing. So I'm not going to, let me just check. Yeah, it's the whole thing. It's 20 minutes. I was going to play the John Oliver clip, but that's just way too long. So. That is the end of that article, and even though I've only been at this for a little over 14 minutes, it's probably for the best that I just do one video per article because, you know, there are people who might be interested in one topic or all of them, but that you get to pick and choose as opposed to trying to figure out where to start. So anyway, with that, I will see you guys in the next video.